Today we have a special speaker. Um, I know we've had a lot of health and wellness as a cluster, it seems like, through Million Cups for the last year and a half. But uh, we've got kind of a unique one today. Uh, Rachel. In a good uh, way. Just uh, <laughs> got done with her business modeling. But she's got a unique, uh, I'm, I'm sure everybody will be interested because we're kind of in that hot button this week talking about health care. But also, um, she won't talk politics today, but <laughs> she'll answer some questions as well and comments and some feedback that we normally have that hold those questions until she's done. So, Rachel, it's all yours. Thank you very much. My name is Rachel Cabral Guevara. I am the owner of Nurse Practitioner Health Services. I own two clinics, one here in Appleton and then a little offshoot in Green Bay. I'm going to ask you folks a couple questions to start here. The first one is when we think about healthcare, what are the biggest things that businesses and people nowadays hate about healthcare? What are the big red flags that people get nervous or don't like about healthcare nowadays? Personal experiences. The cost. Cost. Am I right on this board up here? Wow. That's fine. Okay, cost. Cost is going to be the big one. Another one. Coverage. What? Coverage. Coverage for insurance. Okay. So what's covered, what's not? Would I would I be able to say deductibles? Is that what you're saying here? No. Okay. I'm gonna put that down here. Other ones. The maze. The maze. What's the maze to you? Uh, getting through to somebody, not having to listen to a robot. Uh, trying to get to the person who can really serve you, not having to go through uh, 20 layers, the receptionist, the reception somebody in the middle, the then the nurse, the and then PA, the and finally get to see somebody who can really uh, answer the question, get the stuff done. Then they're done that about five times. About <laughs> gotcha. I would say a lot of people experience that. You're not alone. If that makes you feel any it's better, the, it's the protocol, the system. Mm -hmm. They all do it. I get no, they don't all do it, but most of them do. <laughs> other ones, any other big ones that stick out to you? It's impersonal. Impersonal. Not enough time, rush through the system. Uh-huh. So, rush through the system, what does that mean to you? Does that mean like you're there and then you're gone, or does that mean you're 15 minute appointment and then they kick you out really quick, or what does that mean to you? Your seven minute appointment. Oh, seven, seven minutes. Minutes. Yeah, depending on what you know what you're going in for. I mean, some specialties will give you an hour. If you need an hour, and they'll give you 32 seconds if you want 32 seconds. But most of the time, you feel like they're flying either or flying out. But it's like, wait, I have questions. Oh, sorry. Schedule another appointment for that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Are they really, are they really listening? Right? Yeah. Well, in seven minutes, mm -hmm. it's really hard to hear because you're thinking of a lot of other things from my point of view. Gotcha. Um, well, seven minutes is a new one. I've worked for the large systems for a long time and I got 15 minutes. So <laughs> it seems like seven when you're the I haven't been there in a few years. So I, I see they went down possibly a little bit. These are the big ones that people throw out there. Money is usually the biggest one. Inconvenience. Nobody said inconvenience, but you know, the, 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 maybe location, or the times that they have available is very limiting sometimes. So these are the ones that most people will hit on, but these are what I'll hear over and over and over again. People are starting to get frustrated. A little quote here. Nurse practitioner health services. She hasn't a sword, she hasn't a gun, but she does have her duty and the fighting has begun. And that's how I look at healthcare. I worked in the large systems for a long time, and this is what I, felt as well as my patients felt and I said you know what I need to do something about it I can't sit here and every day come in and complain about it my mom told me I can't complain unless I do something about it <laughs> and so I decided I'm going to start my own little bit and I'm going to address these issues because the way that it's going nowadays it's it, it can't sustain it can't keep going like this for the average individual for the average business and so I kind of brainstormed a little bit what would a world ideally look like in, in healthcare that would be compatible and functional and take away some of these issues that people are struggling with? And I kind of came up with this idea of kind of like a grocery store, okay? You, you go to the grocery store or your clinic and you expect certain things. You expect a fair price for your products, right? 
You want to know what the price of those products are. You go to the grocery store, you got apples, you got oranges, in equivalent labs, x-ray scans, whatever it may be. You want to know the price. You want to be able to say this is what it's going to cost and not get three or four or five bills three or four months later. That's not how it works within the grocery store. You leave with what you pay for. Um, people that come to my grocery store or my clinic, I don't want them to be considered patients. I want them to be considered my partner because I'm tired of being the nurse practitioner and somebody sitting there and being my patient versus my partner. I want this to be mutual. I want us to be able to talk. I want to be able to educate. I want to not be the whole one standing over you and saying, this is what you have to do. I want you to talk with me and be part of this with me. So I want my patients or my partners, my consumers, to have a great product as well as a great selection of services when it comes to healthcare. What's out there? What's available? What do you absolutely need? What do you not need? But I also want healthcare to be convenient. I want people to be able to say, well, maybe I can't come in. I can't come in to you. Would you please come to my home? Would you go to a nursing home? Will you come to my business instead? I, I can't come in there. I have some people that have autoimmune diseases where they don't want to come into a clinic. They want you to come to their home. And so I transformed it a little bit from the traditional image of a clinic of healthcare and offered services that will go into people's homes, home care. So my clinic addresses costs. My clinic twist to it doesn't accept insurance. So when you talk about deductibles or what's covered, my clinic does not look at insurance whatsoever. Eliminating deductible issues. When it comes to the maze, we have less folks than the big system. So we're able to address people one-on-one. 95% -on -one. of the time when people call, I'm the one that answers. If somebody leaves a message, I'm the one that calls back. Because it takes away all that middleman, it takes away all that great mind communication that gets lost in translation after person after person. And when it comes to the impersonal bit, I take that away because minimum 45 minutes to an hour for an appointment is what we do. Why? Because I feel it's important that people have time to ask their questions, get educated on whatever issue they have or whatever questions, concerns they have. Um, and so, the big issues that people are struggling with, I've eliminated. Again, I kind of compare us to, to a grocery store of sorts. Um, I want you to come into a place where you feel welcome, have options, know what your costs are going to be. I want you to come to a place that's convenient for you. May it be time-wise or may it be actual facility-wise. How am I going to do that? Well, my healthcare solution that that provides 50-70% reduction is called a direct access or a direct pay clinic, and that's what I've established here. Here in the state of Wisconsin, there's about nine other, well, including me, nine clinics in the state of Wisconsin that follow this particular model. So for individuals that have high deductibles or no insurance, appointment 75 bucks. I've cut that at least by 50 to 70% from the large systems. So this would be appointments, this might be labs, this might be x-rays, this might be PACs, this might be procedural things, whatever it may be. For folks that have no transportation, for folks with no transportation, we will come to you. And this isn't just for the individual, this is also for maybe a business that's looking for options to reduce healthcare costs. For our businesses, we've established some employer clinics. So what that means is we come, we sit down in a particular room, and the employees of that facility or that working business can come to us free of charge to them. The facility, the business picks up the hourly rate of the nurse practitioner. And so again, my, I feel the, the, the change where healthcare is going is to direct access clinics. Again, cutting costs, making things convenient, and being a partner rather than that impersonal patient provider relationship. So I ask this of you. I see nurse practitioner health services, nurse practitioner's health services.
services as the future of healthcare. I ask of you, do you feel that your large system is truly fighting for your best interest? When you go to your provider, when you go to your systems, are you really feeling like they're there for you? I would challenge that a little bit. I feel that I'm a nurse that wants partners. I don't want patients. I want partners in healthcare. And I do have my patient's interests at the top of my priority list. When I'm staying up at night thinking about them, giving them a text <laughs> later in the evening, I'm thinking about my people. Do you feel that the large systems are fair as well as financially visible to the community as well as their patients? And I'm gonna say I challenge that a little bit. I don't think they are. I think that costs are skyrocketing and I'm asking why? Show me why. Say well. My clinic, we provide costs straight up front. Before you come to this clinic, you can know the cost of whatever you need to get done. There's no hidden secrets. There's no five or six bills that are going to come trickling in two months later. I say, is your large system affordable? If I did a poll on that, I would say a majority of folks have those high deductibles and they're paying out of pocket even though they do have insurance. And I would say for a majority of people, affordable is, is challenging. Again, 50 to 70% reduction in anything that you can imagine. Appointments, labs, x-rays, we got you covered. Would the large system send someone to your home, to your mother's nursing home, to your business if there was a concern? And I would say probably not. I have patients in home right now that um, they're a little bit beyond the care that I can provide. I'm a nurse practitioner, I'm not a physician. And I have called every system. I have called doctors individually and they will not go to patients' homes. They won't, they won't. I find that disheartening. Bottom line, are you, help, are you overall happy with healthcare today? I would say, hold, a majority of people are not and I'm trying to provide other options out there. Um, again, my mom always said, if you're complaining, you can't complain unless you do something about it. And I feel by providing direct access clinics to our community and letting people know the cost, making it convenient, and just having a more personal relationship with my patients, that I can do that. I can try to make change hard against the big systems, but I'm trying. It's all I can do. And I think that's Nurse Practitioner Health Services. That's it.